Hi everyone, welcome to Piano Well. Uh, so I'm finally back, I still have problem with my voice, but I will do my best <laughs> to make this small tutorial. It's not gonna be a very long one, I'm just gonna give you some tips in this piece that I think the most fascinating and the most important here. So um, the first one, just this little thing, but it's so important. You know, on the page 12 you have this glissanda, which you're supposed to play um, somehow on the black keys all the way. Something like this. But the thing is that this is like three piano here, and um, the harmonies are so beautiful, and uh, she really... <laughs> She's really seducing a lot in this in this part. So you have to play it very gently and if you play it just like this, you cannot really control the touch. So that's why I prefer to rearrange it uh, between my hands. So basically over here I start playing like this, just with one hand. Now over here uh, I'm doing this. Five notes with my right hand. Five notes with my left hand, and five notes with my right hand again. I just miss, I just keep one black key over here. But basically it sounds very nice and you can control the sound and it's just, just beautiful. So I really suggest you to make it. Besides, you don't have to play it in very fast tempo, so good to go. Um, now, uh, I also try, you know, every time there is something that I can pick with my left hand and release my right hand, I always do this. And I actually do this almost in every bar, so <laughs> you go ahead and just um, be a little bit creative for, for, the, for, the, for the sake of your melody. Now, let's come back to the very first page. I actually assume, guys, that all of you know the, the drama of this piece. Okay, the water fairy, she's trying to seduce um, adorable visitor <laughs> and um, she's probably very lonely <laughs> she's she's using all her power but um, well eventually she couldn't and she refused to go to her water kingdom and um, she's like oh, I don't care <laughs> at the end and uh, you know if you go to the harmonies let's skip a little bit if you go to harmonies and you can see that it starts with this harmony Marvelous harmony, and eventually, in the very end, he used the same harmony. So it's like circle is finished. She's just like coming, how she started. So she's just like like nothing happened. <laughs> and I really like that when I noticed that he really used the same harmony in the beginning and in the end of this piece. Okay, now uh, for those of you who actually play this piece, uh, I really suggest you guys look carefully at the third line on the first page because the pattern in the right hand actually changes. Uh, in the beginning it's one note up, two down. Now in the very uh, first bar of the third line you can see it changes now two notes up, two notes down. So it's not like this. Uh, like literally half of the students that I I I I watched on the YouTube they they play <laughs> using the the first pattern they never change it. So again, what it says for us it just says how actually students read the score they 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 don't really read the score. <laughs> Uh, by the way, these changes of pattern doesn't make it any easier to play. It's actually even more difficult. And yeah, don't for don't forget that on the last line, he just he just keeps these changes of pattern for a couple of lines, and then he uh, again come back to the initial pattern and the very last line of this page. Now, how to overcome this super difficult right hand? I think uh, this is the most uh, the most difficult pages actually of this piece, at the very first pages. If you can manage to do this two first pages, congratulations, you 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 got the piece. <laughs> so, what I will suggest um, again for those of you who a little bit like. Aware
career about what I'm doing with my system, we talk about how your wrist follows your um, follows the melody pattern, the note pattern. And over here it goes right, left, right, left, left. Now over here. So you see how it goes? Do it. It's really helpful when you play very fast, of course these movements are gonna be very very small. But this is exactly something that helps your wrist to breathe while playing. So it wouldn't be like uh, stiff and you know your fingers cannot move and it doesn't really sound nice. Uh, now of course you make it absolutely with relaxed hands. And if you have very good um, uh, cleaning tenation um, fingertips then you will be able to do this. A relaxed your hand. Um, what I would suggest is just imagine the right hand and the beautiful uh, strings, like violins, and make it again with movement left, right, and still, even though there's just like minor second between notes, but still try to make this under between them and follow your wrist this pattern. And then when you start playing with this intonation, you just bring even more freedom. And here we go. <laughs> so the main point, don't play like this. Ah, I really cannot play anything. <laughs> Now the melody, of course, beautiful voice, just follow again the melody pattern, make sure you make a good phrasing here, but again guys, if you just go to the phrasing detailed here, it will take another hour, I, I, I'm done making this two hours videos. Um, what else I could highlight here? Um, one interesting thing, remember I told you about musical speech that um, every interval has its own meaning? So, when I was analyzing musical speech here, I was astonished by how he actually professionally uses this. He's like, he like knows everything about this. Remember I told you that the second is expression of uh, feeling of, how to say, uh, when you're longing for something, when you're like waiting, when you're asking, this kind of energy. So he used it in the company all the way through, like from the beginning. <laughs> And even in this part, if you analyze, it's just all made made of uh, seconds. Well, let's consider this also seconds. So this longing intonation is all the way through the whole piece. And that creates like the atmosphere exactly what we need. So, um, and even in the first melody, in the beginning, okay, this is third down, but then, so you can actually hear how she's asking him, okay, come to me, please, come to me, you know? Very, 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 very nice. Uh, and sometimes, for example, in the accompaniment, uh, in this part, this is page seven. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to count the bars for you guys. Uh, he starts bringing more um, confident more strong intervals to the company. So it's not only two, but for example here, it's four up. And we remember that four is more energetic. That's why even though the melody is the same, but uh, it gives you this emotion of, like she's more insistent, you know. Uh, and here, he doesn't go, anymore, he goes right 
back to the octave and octave we remember just like a unison it's uh, like open statement so she's getting more and more um i don't know how to say in english but you know you understand it's like yeah like more insistence <laughs> um yeah i don't know i should look up to the english vocabulary whatever um so so this one is not asking anymore more strong let's put it this way it's like octave every time so these little things but exactly this is what makes uh, makes music <laughs> makes feeling in music and here of course She's going by by seconds. Okay, third up, but then that not every teacher would explain to you um, now again how we do this musical speech just want to let know because you know I got so many comments about okay I understand how to make a uh, musical speech yeah I understand this is three you don't need to understand by thinking you cannot express anything only by feeling only by feeling vibrations you can express the music when you play so how to feel the interval, even knowing its emotional meaning, we, f we feel it through, uh, through singing, through intonation. So if we sing, again this second, okay, this one. So this is how we do with intonation. Now we feel it with emotional meaning. And, well, you definitely feel everything and when you play, if you internally intonate like this and your voice is the sound of the piano, then uh, this is how you convey your emotions through playing. So one more time, just by thinking you cannot get anything, only by feeling. And we feel through intonation. <laughs> now, the same thing happens with the harmonies. Uh, there is one stage right in our system and we listen to harmonies again. I've got so many comments. Okay. I Listen to harmony. I have the plan Broadly what's going on? <laughs> but again just by understanding you cannot express anything so Make sure guys that after you going through harmonies and you listen to them It honestly took me a while to go deep in these harmonies because these are not the classical harmonies of romantic period. Very, you know, really impressionism, like just shadows, shadows. Oh, <laughs> such tender, such gentle uh, nuances that you have to catch it and you have to understand and you still have to feel which one is more open, which one is more tense. So even I suggest to just take the pedal and go through every harmony. And then again, you cannot stop just with this. You have to do this 
to be able to imagine every note. So after you know, after you have this emotional idea of every harmony, you have to come back to timber when you imagine every note in strings, in um, beautiful voice, in cellos, violins here, and imagine this timber in this harmony, and that will give some nuance uh, to your sound and that will reflect uh, your touching because as we know everything we imagine here appears here this is our head over here <laughs> whatever we have here the same thing we have here if our finger is empty if our sound is empty that means our head is empty <laughs> with sound so after we uh, imagine every note in timbre and with this color of harmony then that will enrich our touch so much i mean you you will discover thousands of different touches just in piano just because the harmony would be different um this this and all of this will changes the sound because all of this will basically changes the tone of your voice this is one thing and another thing is that uh, when again you express it through intonation then uh, you enrich your intonation as well so if for example um, for example you can intonate I just want to give you an idea um, second being in this harmony this is basically let's put it quite like a positive harmony but of course it's all in the veil of magic and beauty and uh, wonder so now when you imagine the sound and you sing it the sweet all the um, all the magic right now when you imagine for example with this one this one is darker right more tensed not so wonderful so now when you imagine sounds in this timbre in this harmony and then sing it it's different So the same thing, the same thing happens when we intonate. Uh, so basically, the feeling of harmony we could express through singing, we could express through playing, we could express between notes. So I think this is a very important thing to tell you guys because I, r I really want you to understand by thinking. By understanding which interval I play, by understanding even phrasing or form or harmony of the piece, you will not change anything in your performance. You only, it will only let you convey your emotions if you know that you express everything through intonation. You express everything through vibrations of your singing between notes. And this is how it goes. You change vibrations, you change your sound. Mm -hmm. You basically change the energy because this is what I'm talking about. Vibrations, energy, the same thing. Um, well, I cannot recall anything else which could be important here. Yeah, of course, uh, it took me actually a while to also circle all the notes for my elbow movement, but it re it's, it's really worth it because Otherwise, if you don't prepare your position, you cannot play it fast and easy. So you could, you know, basically forget about any technical uh, uh, problems here and just be in music completely. So moving elbows here, preparing positions are very important, especially here. Um, all right, thank you so much for watching. Just one more time, all the other tutorials about shopping list, uh, Rachmaninoff, you can find in description to this video, as long as my blah 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 video and I'm talking about, you know, 
not playing, just talking about piano technique. Uh, so just welcome, I'm sure you can find something that you will be interested about. Uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, uh, if you think that actually can inspire someone else, then just, just like it, you know, and by liking you will share it. Yeah, um, so thank you so much, bye bye!